The Wubizixing input method, simplified Chinese, Wu Bai Zi Xing Shu Ru Fa traditional Chinese, Wu Bai Zi Xing Shu Ru Fa Pinyin, Wu Bizixing Sharufa, literally. Five-stroke character model input method, often abbreviated to simply Wubi or Wubi Xing, is a Chinese character input method primarily for inputting simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese text on a computer. Wubi should not be confused with the Wubawa Wu Bai Wa method, which is a different input method that shares the categorization into five types of strokes. The method is also known as Wang Ma, simplified Chinese, Wang Ma traditional Chinese, Wang Ma pinyin, Wang Ma literally, Wang's code, named after the inventor Wang Yangmen. Wang Yang. There are three Wubi versions that are considered to be standard, Wubi 86, Wubi 98, Wubi 18,030 and Wubi New Century, the third generation version. The latter three can also be used to input traditional Chinese text, albeit in a more limited way. Wubi 86 is the most widely known and used shape-based input method for full-letter keyboards in mainland China. If it is frequently needed to input traditional Chinese characters as well, other input methods like Kangji or Jengma may be better suited to the task, and it is also much more likely to find them on the computer one needs to use. The Wubi method is based on the structure of characters rather than their pronunciation, making it possible to input characters even when the user does not know the pronunciation, as well as not being too closely linked to any particular spoken variety of Chinese. It is also extremely efficient, every character can be written with at most four keystrokes. In practice, most characters can be written with fewer. There are reports of experienced typists reaching 160 characters per minute with Wubi. What this means in the context of Chinese is not entirely the same as it is for English, but it is true that Wubi is extremely fast when used by an experienced typist. The main reason for this is that, unlike with traditional phonetic input methods, one does not have to spend time selecting the desired character from a list of homophonic possibilities, virtually all characters have a unique representation. As its name suggests, the keyboard is divided into five regions. The Chinese character bai, bai when used in the context of writing Chinese characters, refers to the brush strokes used in Chinese calligraphy. Each region is assigned a certain type of stroke. Region 1, horizontal Yi region 2, vertical Gun region 3, downwards right to left Pi region 4, dot strokes or downwards left to right strokes Zhu region 5, Hukka major drawback to learning Wubi is its steeper learning curve, since as a more complex system it takes longer to acquire as a skill. Memorization and practice are key factors for proficient usage. In this article, the following convention will be used, character will always mean Chinese character, whereas letter, key and keystroke will always refer to the keys on keyboard. How it works Essentially, a character is broken down into components, which are usually, but not always, the same as radicals. These are typed in the order in which they would be written by hand. In order to ensure that extremely complex characters do not require an inordinate number of keystrokes, any character containing more than four components is entered by typing the first three components written, followed by the last. In this way, each character's data can be entered with only four keystrokes. Wubi distributes its characters very evenly and as such the vast majority of characters are uniquely defined by the four keystrokes discussed above. One then types a space to move the character from the input buffer onto the screen. In the event that the four-letter representation of the character is not unique, one would type a digit to select the relevant character, for example, if two characters have the same representation, typing one would select the first, and two the second. In most implementations, a space can always be typed and simply means one in an ambiguous setting. Intelligent software will try to make sure that the character in the default position is the one desired. Many characters have more than one representation. This sometimes is for ease of use, in case there is more than one obvious way to break down a character. More often though, it is because certain characters have a short representation that is less than four letters, as well as a full representation. For characters with fewer than four components that do not have a short form representation, one types each component and then fills up 
The representation, that is, types enough extra keystrokes to make the representation four keystrokes by manually typing the strokes of the last component, in the order they would be written. If there are too many strokes, one should write as many as possible, but put the last stroke last, this mirrors the component rule for characters with more than four components outlined above. Once the algorithm is understood, one can type almost any character with a little practice, even if one hasn. T typed it before. Muscle memory will make sure that frequent typists using this method don. T have to think about how the characters are actually constructed, just as the vast majority of English typists don't think very much about the spelling of words when they write. Implementation specific details Many implementations employ further, multiple word optimizations. Usually, a commonly used digraph, two-character word, in which both characters have short-form two-keystroke representations can be combined into a single, four-keystroke representation which generates two characters rather than one. There are also a few three-character shortcuts, and even one rather longer, politically motivated one. Some examples of these are provided in the examples section below. Another common feature is the use of the Z key as a wildcard. The Wubi method was actually designed with this feature in mind, this is why no components are assigned to the Z key. Basically, one can type a Z when unsure what the component should be, and the input method will help complete it. If one knew, for example, that the character ought to start with KT, but was unsure what the next component should be, typing KTZ would produce a list of all characters starting with KT. In practice though, many input method engines use a tabular lookup method for all table-based input systems, including for Wubi. This means that they simply have a large table in memory, associating different characters to their respective representations. The input method then simply becomes a table lookup. In such an implementation, the Z key breaks the paradigm and as such is not found in much generalized software, although the Wubi input method commonly found in Chinese Windows implements the feature. For this same reason, the multiple character optimization described in the previous paragraph is also relatively rare. Some input methods, such as XSYN found on many Unix-like systems, provide a generic wildcard functionality which can be used in all the table-based input systems, including Pinyin and virtually anything else. XSYN uses asterisk for auto-complete and single quote question mark single quote. For just one letter, following the conventions pioneered in Unix file globbing. Other implementations probably have their own conventions. See Wubi 86 for details on how to get the Wubi input method installed on Windows. Subdivision of the keyboard the Wubi keyboard assumes a QWERTY-like layout, so users of keyboards implementing a nationalized or alternative layout, such as Dvorak or the French AZERTY, will probably have to do some remapping to make the system sane. Wubi does not position its components arbitrarily, there are far too many of them, and it is only with the introduction of a logical methodology that the system becomes easy to learn. Basically, the keyboard is divided into five zones, each representing a stroke. Those five strokes are falling left, falling right, horizontal, vertical, and hook, and the zones that represent them are QWERT, YUIOP, ASDFG, HJKLM, and XCVBN, respectively. These zones are all laid out horizontally, with the exception of M, which is not in line with the rest of the letters in its zone. In a general way, the keyboard can be thought of as divided down the center, between T and Y, G and H, and N and M. The keys in each zone are numbered moving away from this dividing line, so we should actually say that in zone QWERT, T is the first letter, R is the second, and E the third, in zone Y U I O P, Y is the first, U is the second, I the third, etc. For X C V B N, N is the first, and so on. In HJKLM, consider M to be the last in the series, even though it does not lie on the line. This is important because components in the first position will have one repetition of the stroke in question, the stroke assigned to the zone in which they belong, those in the second, two, those in the third, three. Those components which are not easily classifiable using this paradigm will be placed on the last letter. 
Therefore, one would expect Yi to be located on G, and Er on F, and San on D, and indeed, this is the case. Similarly, one would expect Gun to be located on H, Dao to be on J, and Chuan to be on K. This pattern holds for all the zones. Furthermore, it extends to most radicals that look as though they are made up of three such strokes, even if in fact they might not be at all. An example of this is Zhang on K. While it does not have three downward strokes, two only, it appears to have three. Furthermore, it is written by hand by first writing a mouth radical, ko and then bisecting it with a vertical downward stroke. The mouth radical lies on K. So this makes the assignment doubly logical. And the pinyin romanization of ko, ko 3, begins with K, another memory aid encoded into the Wubi keyboard. Furthermore, each letter of each zone has one component associated with it, its main component. These are usually a complete character, with the exception of X, in their own right. One can always type this main component by typing the letter it is situated on four times. So, for example, the main component of H is mu, and so one would type it by typing HHHH. Each letter also has a shortcut character associated with it. In some cases, this character is the same as the component associated with the key in question, and sometimes not. This shortcut character is the character produced when one types just the letter and nothing else. These are all extremely common characters used when typing Chinese. It is entirely possible that there are a number of components not listed below, either because of oversight, because they are rarely used, or because no simple Unicode representation for the component exists. Quirt zone falling left. The Q key's main component is Jin and its shortcut character is Wo. It is associated with the following components, Jin Jin Bao Er Shi as well as the hook at the top of Shi and Zhao, the radical Quan without the lower left falling stroke, so characters with that radical start with Q T, not just Q. The criss-cross, such as in the center of Ku, the top of U, i.e., without the horizontal stroke at the bottom, and the three, nearly vertical feet. In the bottom right corner of Lu. The W key's main component and shortcut character are both Ren. It is associated with the following components, Ren Ren Ba and the top of Gui. While Ren means man, it is often used by Wubi to construct a roof radical, such as in Wei. WFC. Ru is not governed by W, despite looking similar, and while Can has a top that looks vaguely like the top of Gui, the two are not the same, indeed, to type Can, one must physically type out each component on the top. The E key's main component is U, and its shortcut character is U. It is associated with the following components, Yu Yang Shan Nai the bottom of Yi i.e., without Tu, the top of Fu i.e., without Z, the bottom part of Jia i.e., without the roof radical, the bottom of Liang i.e., without the Bai, and the bottom of Zhou i.e., without the little dot on the top. In this case, E. S shortcut character does not even begin with a left falling stroke, but merely prominently figures a component belonging to E Shan is featured on this character, as it is the third character in the zone, counting from T, C above. A particular distortion that comes up often is the use of E in key and in characters containing it. Wubi thinks of this component as U plus Yi. The R key's main component is Bai, and its shortcut character is De. It is associated with the following components, Bai Shou Shou Jin both with and without the T, Miu without the vertical downward stroke, and of course the two left falling strokes, I cannot find the Unicode glyph that represents them, that one would expect from the second key in the zone, see above for an explanation, watch out for varieties of show where the central downward hook is replaced by a left falling stroke, such as in The T key's main component is Hei, and its shortcut character is Hei. It is associated with the following components, Hei Zhu, Ji, Pu, Kai and the top of Qi, i.e., without the Yi, Zhu may also be found in its smaller form, as seen on the top of Chang, Pi is also found on this key, because T is the first key in the zone, see above, this means that if one is typing a component or character stroke by stroke, they would, generally, use T to represent a left falling stroke. See the section on disambiguation strokes for more information on exceptions to this rule. YUIOP zone falling right 
This zone might also be called the dot zone, because its pattern of Y, Yan Yu, Bing I, Shui and O, Biao is not actually necessarily built up of right falling strokes. In fact, one could argue that the first stroke in Biao actually falls left. It is called the falling right zone because the keys in this zone, when used to construct a character by stroke rather than component, all represent right falling strokes for some character configuration. See the section on disambiguation strokes for more information. The Y key's main component is Yan, and its shortcut character is Zhu. It is associated with the following components, Yan Yan 2 2 with a Ko beneath it, Guang Wen, Fang and Zhu. These components all start with a right falling stroke. Generally, dots in Chinese characters are actually left falling strokes, and so most of the time, the use of T is more appropriate than Y of course, if one can write Chinese characters by hand, they should be able to tell which to choose by recalling how it is written. The U key's main component is Li, and its shortcut character is Chan. It is associated with the following components, Li Lu Xin Men Nei Chang Bing the antennae on the top of Dan, just two strokes, Ba and the antennae plus a horizontal stroke, as found on the top of Z. Most of these all feature two short diagonal strokes, Men being the obvious exception. This is consistent with R's place as the second letter in the zone, see above for an explanation. The I key's main component is Shui, and its shortcut character is Bu. It is associated with the following components, Shui Shui Shao the three strokes on the top of Zhe, and the three strokes on the top of Dang. Additionally, a component which might be described as Tu Bing, back to back, is associated with this character. The O key's main component is Huo, and its shortcut character is Wei. It is associated with the following components, Huo Mi Biao and Yi without the bottom horizontal stroke. This allows construction of characters such as Yan. This is the fourth key in the falling right zone, hence the inclusion of Biao. The P key's main component is G, and its shortcut character is J. It is associated with the following components, G Chuo Yin Mi Mian and Shi. As Wu Bi components are typed in the order that they would need to be written were one writing by hand, the Chuo and Yin components are typically typed last. ASDFG zone, horizontal. The A key's shortcut character is Gong. The S key's main component is Mu, and its shortcut character is Yao. The D key's main component is Da, and its shortcut character is Xi. The F key. S main component is Tu, and its shortcut character is De. The main component. S name Earth correlates to the shortcut character which means Earth. The G key's main component is Wang, and its shortcut character is Yi. HJKLM zone, vertical. The H key's main component is Mu, and its shortcut character is Shang. The J key's main component is Ri, and its shortcut character is Shi. The K key's main component is Ko, and its shortcut character is Zhang. The L key's main component is Tian, and its shortcut character is Guo. The M key's main component is Shan, and its shortcut character is Tong. XCBBN Zone Hook The X key's main component is C, and its shortcut character is Jing. The C key's main component is U, and its shortcut character is Yi. The V key's main component is Nu, and its shortcut character is Fa. The B key's main component is Z, and its shortcut character is La. The N key's main component is Yi, and its shortcut character is Min. Disambiguation strokes Strokes of keyboard is divided into five zones. Examples Characters with four components or fewer, but no need for strokes. Example 1 
Ching consists of three components, Y, Yan radical number 10, G, Wang asterisk, radical 89, E, U radical 118, to Ching. Characters with more than four components Example 2 Yi consists of five components, K, Ko H, Gun G, Yi M, Bei P, Shuo to K H G P greater than Yi, you don't need type M. Characters with fewer than four components, needing strokes. When first you type the key with the symbol on it, which happens to be Y. Then you type the first component, which is also Y. For the Dian stroke, then a G. For the Eng stroke and since you now already have three strokes, you type the last stroke, which also happens to be a Na, arriving at the key code. Y Y G Y. For the complete character. Yi the code for this character is. G G L L. As before, you type the key for the character first, which is. G. Then the first stroke of that character, which is also a. G. Because this is all necessary information, the L is used as a filler until you reach four letters. Note that the Yi is also the shortcut character for G, making it one stroke only in practice. Wang the code for this character is YYGT. At first, you type the key where this character is located, which is a Y. Then, you type a Dian stroke, which is also on Y. The next will be the Eng stroke on G, and the last will be the Na on T. Characters requiring disambiguation strokes Example 4 Deng consists of three components, T, Zu F, 2 F. Kun disambiguation strokes, the last stroke is Zu and the character is with top-bottom structure, 42, U, to Deng. Poem A poem was made as a mnemonic for the Wubi keyboard, associating few characters with each key. The first character is the corresponding key main component, while the next ones are components or associated characters. 1986 version G11 Wang Pang Ching 2 Gn Wu Yi F12 2 Shi Er Gan Shi Kun Yu D13 Da Quan San Yang Gu Shi Chong S14 Mu Ding Shi A15 Gong Ge Sao 2 Yu Quang Chi H21 Mu Ju Shang Ji Bo Hu Pai J22 Ri Zhao Liang Shu Yu Chang Yi K23 Ko Yu Chuan Z Zhen Shi L24 Tian Jia Fang Kuang Si Che Li M25 Shan Yu Bei Sha Kuang Ji T31 He Zhu Yi Pai Shuang Ren Li Fan Wen Tiao Tu Gong San Yi R32 Bai Shou Kan Tu San Er Jin E33 Yu Shan Shan Nai Yang Jia Yi Di W34 Ren He Ba Deng Ji Tu Q35 Jin Shao K Dian Wu Wei Yu Quan Pang Lu Yi Er Yi Dian Shi Shi Wu Qi Y41 Yan Wen Fang Guang Zai Si Yi Gao Tu Yi Na She A Ren Ku U42 Li Xin Liang Dian Lu Men Ne Bing I43 Shui Pang Xing Tu Shao Dao Li O44 Huo Yi Tu Si Dian Mi P45 Ji Bao Gai Jai Shi Yi N51 Yi Ban Si Man Bu Chu Ji Zuo Kuang Ze Shi Shin Hei Yu B52 Zi Er Le Yi Kuang Shang Shang B53 Nu Dao Ju Ju Shan Chao Shi C54 Yu Ba Ma Diu Shi Yi X55 Si Mu Wu Shin Gong Hei Bai Yu Wu Li
1998 version. G11 Wang Pang Ching Tu Wu Fu Yi F12 Tu Gan Shi Kun Wei Gan Yu Bu Yao Wang Le Zhe Zd D13 Da Quan Wu Qi Gu Shi Chong S14 Mu Ding Shi Fu Yi Si Li A15 Gong Ge Sao Tu Yu Quang Chi H21 Mu Shang Bo Ji Hu Ju Tu J22 Ri Zhao Liang Shu Yu Chang Yi K23 Ko Lu Chuan Ma Yuan Shi L24 Tian Jia Fang Kuang Si Che Li M25 Shan Yu Bei Gu Sha Kuang Ji T31 Heizu Fan Wen Shuang Ren Li R32 Bai Jin Chi Chu Cha Shou Ti E33 Yu Yang Li Ji Mao Yi Ju W34 Ren Ba Deng Tu Dan Ren Ji Q35 Jin Shi Miao Air Quan Bian Yu Y41 Yan Wen Fang Dian Shea Ren Ku U42 Li Xin Lu Yang Bing Men Li I43 Shui Zhu San Dian B2 Shao O44 Huo Yi Guang Lu Si Dian Mi P45 GZ Bao Gai Bu Shi Yi N51 Yi Lei Zuo Quang Xin Shi Yu B52 Z Erla Yi Nai Quang Pai B53 Nu Dao Ju Liang Shan Shi Dao C54 Yu Ba Ni Ru Ma Shi Ti X55 Yao Mu Guan Tu Gong Hei Bai New Century Third Generation Version G11 Wang Pang Ching Tu Wu Yi Ti F12 Tu Shi Er Gan Shi Kun Yu D13 Da San C2 Tu Gu Shi Chong S14 Mu Ding Shi Bian Yao Wu Nu a15 Gong Ge Sao Tu Yu Quang Chi H21 Mu Ji Ju Tu Bo Hu Pai J22 Ri Yu Liang Shu Yu Chang Yi K23 Ko Zhang Liang Chuan San Ge Shu L24 Tian Quang Si Che Jia Dan Di M25 Shan Yu Bei Gu Sha Quang Li T31 Hei Zhu Niu Pang Wo Ren Li R32 Bai Jin Chi Tu Cha Shou Ti E33 Yu Zhou Yi Li Shi Ji Ju W34 Ren Ba Deng Ji Feng Tu Ji Q35 Jin Shi Quan Air Bao Tu Yu Y41 Yan Wen Fang Dian Zai Si Yi U42 Li Dai Liang Dian Bing Men Li I43 Shui Bian Yi Zhu San Dian Shao O44 Huo Bian San Tai Guang Er Mi P45 GZ Bao Gai Bu Shi Yi N51 Yi Lei Zuo Quang Xin Shi Yu B52 Z Er La Yi Nai Kai Di B53 Nu Dao Ju Shuan Lu Wu Shui C54 Yu Ba Yang Yi Ma Shi Ti X55 Yao Mu Zhao Si Gong San Bai Notes and references External links Official website Full tables of Wubi sequences.